Hello there people of YouTube, my name is Katie and you're watching my review of Root Letter by Kadokawa Games and P-Cube. It's not often that you can describe a game as both haunting and nostalgic, but also thoughtful, elegant and in some ways romantic, but that's exactly the kind of feeling Kadokawa Games and P-Cube's Japanese visual novel Root Letter has left with me. And oh my, it's a pretty game. At its heart, Root Letter is a visual novel with mystery and detective elements, with gameplay segments similar to the Ace Attorney series. It follows the Tokyoite protagonist's quest to find his high school pen pal Aya, whose final haunting letter you discover 15 years on, after she had mysteriously stopped responding to your letters. Aya tells you that she's killed someone and this will be her final goodbye, and thus begins the chain of events that leads you to the quiet countryside Japanese town and ultimately the truth behind Aya's disappearance. It's an intriguing plot from the get-go and one that thankfully grips you and takes hold all the way to the ending scenes. Root Letter is an undeniably gorgeous game with its soft, elegant art style perfectly matching the tone of the game. The character design is also superb and that's thanks mostly to the involvement of Love Plus character designer Mino Taro. Set in the real Japanese town of Matsue, the capital of the beautiful Shimane prefecture and known affectionately as the Water City due to its location along the eastern shores of Lake Shinji, Matsue casts the perfect background to this story, brimming with that sense of classic Japanese nostalgia that's often portrayed in Studio Ghibli movies. It's that feeling of a childhood spent in the countryside, a long hot summer's day, at a festival, or perhaps some fun memories with your high school friends, and it's something that's sentimentally and innately very Japanese, but in the very least something that we can all relate to to one extent or another. You can really tell that Kadokawa Games poured as much attention to detail into the setting as possible, accurately capturing not only physical elements of the town in the game, with various in-game landmarks such as Matsui Castle, but also streets, buildings and restaurants reproduced as key background imagery to the rich story, but also the emotional connection of a region and the spirit of the locals you've come to know well. I know it sounds really whimsical and wishy-washy, but it's truly impressive the scale that the developers have managed to create just through an in-game map of Matsue and a fantastically nostalgic soundtrack by Takashi Mita. Each chapter of the game is based on a particular letter of Aya's, which discloses information about her high school life and friends. You must visit various locations, search for evidence and clues, and use them to interrogate seven key high school friends in order to slowly unravel the mystery. But it's safe to say that most of the colourful cast of Root Letter aren't too keen on divulging any information, and even go as far to purposely leading you off track. Each character in the game is distinctive and memorable, each with their own Achilles heel, which you soon learn to exploit during the game's interrogation sequences, which play out quite similarly to the witness testimony and cross-examination in Ace Attorney games, complete with mild character breakdown. Unlike Ace Attorney, however, the logic behind the statements and the evidence you use to tweeze out information does actually feel connected, and at no point in my time with the game did I ever feel stuck, thanks mostly to the handy think button, which provides an assessment of the current in-game situation as well as handy tips. In many respects the game is actually quite linear, as although at any one stage there's quite a few locations to visit or dialogue options to present, there's actually only one choice that the game decides will further the story. There was however at stages, particularly towards the latter chapters, a bit too much pointless jumping back and forth between locations, which, if I'm brutally honest, just felt like an excuse for the developers to stretch out the game time. There were also a few out of place long pauses, where it felt like the game had crashed momentarily, and I'm pretty sure it wasn't loading anything either. And as for localization, while the team had done a great job of translating the rather poetic Japanese dialogue into elegant and thoughtful English text, there were a few errors and random repetitious statements here and there, but thankfully not to the detriment of the overall engaging experience. On a positive note, the original Japanese voice track has also been included in the Western version of the game, which for me really helped to bring each character to life and fully immerse myself in the town of Matsue. Although it's reasonably short for a visual novel, taking me around 6.5 hours to see the credits roll, Root Letter does contain five different endings, based on decisions you make during the gameplay. Once you complete the game for the first time, a new game plus mode will appear, revealing new letter responses to lead you to the four other endings. You can then skip through text and jump through chapters altogether, apart from chapter 8 onwards, which you must complete every time in its entirety. It took me about 25 minutes to speed through a second ending, but with each playthrough you become quicker at remembering the dialogue and the location options to speed your way through to the next scene. I would have preferred a slightly more fleshed out story towards the ending chapters which seemed to race by and didn't always feel fully satisfied with every ending I witnessed, but for such a short game the emotional attachment I experienced to Matsue and its characters were really quite staggering. 
Root Letter is a game that thrives on its intriguing plot, beautiful artistic portrayal of real world location Matsue, and the exploitation of its own clever subtle details. And truly, it's going to leave its emotional grip on you long after the approximate 10 hours of gameplay come to an end. If you love visual novels and have been left wanting ever since the end of Danganronpa 2, you owe it to yourself to give Root Letter a try. Thank you very much for watching my review of Root Letter, I hope you found that handy. If you did, make sure to leave a like, otherwise check out my other reviews and I'll see you soon. Bye!